Hello everyone, my name is Wingblade and welcome back to another part of my let's play of my Uncle Heroes. Last time we completed uh, uh what was it? Desert Outpost and we defeated Vorak. Today we will be doing the next level for that zone. But first let's get some new stuff for the Praka Playground. So as you can see we got a lot of stuff, so let's get some. I'll buy the Praka shooting gallery. And let's see what else. VIP launch, diving board. I'll get the diving board last. But I think since I still have enough left, I'll buy the Paraka Bronco phone. Or you know what? Let's buy the Paraka seesaw. Alright, now before I jump into the uh, level wanna quickly guys I wanna quickly show you guys is where you can actually see the uh, Rahi. Watch how I go in here and Boom! As you can see, they're right there. So every time you get uh, all silver canisters for any Rahi, they'll all appear in the room and you can still see the enemies. Which I think is pretty cool. Razak and Vorzak. Now the truth is about the Vaki, they're actually robots, which were brought, which were supposed to protect the vo uh, Mechanui, but then they were, eh, never mind. Anyway, next up we have the Vizirak. As you can see, we've got Borak and Uf on Ororak. I'm not sure how to pronounce their names, so forgive me if I mispronounce their names. So anyway, we don't have anything for the Borak yet, but we will soon. Here, enough said, let's just head to the next level, pretty much. Alright, let's go back to Redax Desert. And also, I like the f I also like how the time of day changes when you enter a level. I think it looks pretty amazing. Alright, let's do the same. And now we're heading to Bleak Refinery. And we're going to be collecting another Procosphere, pretty much. Alright, that was pretty cool. Eerie, Blake Refinery. So anyway, we start off with Hooky, Jaller, and Kongu. Eerie, but first, let's take down some enemies. Gonna take down some enemies as Jaller because haven't killed lots of enemies as him. So plus I probably show a little bit of love for Jaller. Uh, also, while I'm playing this game, in the comments below, tell me who is your favorite Toa. Here, wait, come over here, and I'll grab Polly's mask. Before going out, I'll, I'll just destroy this, and it will give you some collectible loot, and a silver canister. No, no, we won't be able to get all the silver canisters in this zone. So yeah, I'll come back later. So here, wait, let's progress forward. I'll use Jaller, because, you know, Jaller has in the gang lots of love. Anyway, anyway, let's uh, grab Naparu's mask, and I'll spawn back to Jala. Now pretty much, um, I just hope this time the uh, no one interrupts me. And to make sure, I did a little uh, cheap out sign. You know, like, uh, 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 do not enter recording, I'm recording a video, uh, so do not open the door. Or, er, and come back later. Anyway, enough said, we've got Matoro's mask. Now, before I usually go, I usually stick around here to collect some loot. Because, you know, the more technic parts you have, the more stuff you can buy. So, yeah, let's have a few more around. And, yeah, and also, guys, thanks for getting me up to 30 subscribers. That's, and thanks for spreading the love of, of my channel. I'm very happy for it. So I just hope, hope to, you know, get better. Who knows, perhaps maybe this channel might be gang, who knows, this, this channel might be more successful than my first channel. Oh, anyway, 
just continue on from here. And like we need to take and we have to play as a uh, uh Holly. Much much. So yeah. Also guys to let you know I finished college. It's the now I'm on my um, holiday. So we need uh who knows? I think uh not yet, Mike. I finished I finished college on the. Uh, I think I'll tell you once I figure it out. Pretty much today I'll upload. Never. I won't talk about what I'll upload. But just wait. It might be a secret. Anyway, open this up. Just walk back to Jaller since I really want to place him. So yeah. Now when you come over here, it will trigger another, like, checkpoint, and you need to, uh, uh, use this. Oh wait, before I progress forward, I forgot to sh- Dang it! I, for I forgot to show you that, uh, secret part. Never mind, I'll come back later. I'll come back to that- I'll come back to that zone later. Now, this is actually the first time I've actually uh, missed the uh, secret collectible. But don't worry, I'll come back to this level through all to show you what was behind that, uh, what I missed. Anyway, that was just happened one time. I'm sure that the, I hope that doesn't happen again. Because, like they say, sometimes when you make mistakes, you end up learning from them. Either way, come over here, use the power to gain some, uh, extra loot. And I just like to use the power because he's freaking badass. No offense, I'm not actually using... Now for this series, I'm going to try not to use, use any, uh, swear words. But, uh, I'll put it in a better rank. Nice. Anyway, just open this up, then there's a gold canister, and we're in hero mode straight away. You know what? I'll save the rest of these technical pieces for later. Or, you know, after I do the hero mode. Anyway, I'll just switch to the power. Now, when you're using hero mode, you can use any Toa. But for each zone, I just used to use their Toa for the elemental reason. So, your way, we build like this um, small bridge. But I'm not going to go up there. Not yet. Because there's a secret. Instead of going up there, there's going to be a secret, it's, uh, well, room right here. Follow this trail, oh, uh, then I'll use Holly's Drench ability to open the gate, then go in, there's a mask, as well as a gold canister, and lots of Technic pieces. Now, blue Technic pieces, his help you gets, gives you more, uh, well, you know, more... Oh no, sorry, sometimes I can end up for losing what I'm about to say. So yeah, either way. Hey, the more blue, so pretty much blue Technic parts give you lots and lots of, well, currency and stuff. And they can help you level up super fast. Uh, I mean, in get you to hero mode faster. So anyway. Hey, now all we have to do is, uh, hit up there. And uh, pretty much, there will be Vizorak coming down on here. First things first, take them down, that's what I usually do. Now, go over there. Now, you can actually come over here to get some of the, uh, stuff. Now, I just destroy okay, this final Vizorak. Next up, oh, and then we're also in hero mode, right? Alright, cool. So, anyway, we build this train, then after this card, then we... We'll open, then we open this zone, like this gate, then we just go through there. Now the, now the reason why, now pretty much we're not going to go that way, but I just like to, to blow up the gate. And plus, as you can get more technical parts that way. And plus, I haven't actually done and killing the thing up. So anyway, but this part we continue on. Well, we're not gonna go that way. We're gonna head this way. Hey, okay, and then it will take us, as you can see, another hero mode. First blow up the enemy. 
Now, checkpoint. Now, this is one of the locations where there will be one gold ca silver canister that will not be able that will not be able to get until I get these on. Yeah, so yeah, pretty much. As you can see right there, there's the construct. Now, until when you use the hero mode, it's pretty much a one-hit kill on the opponent, which is pretty cool, actually. So yeah. I'll just use Jowler and start, you know, taking down some of these enemies. Who knows? In the future, and I'm also thinking in the future, I might do, and for my Killer Instinct gameplays, who knows? In the future, after all the co Killer Instinct and Ultras characters are all being revealed and all their Ultras are done, I'll perhaps do start doing separate videos like Rival Battles, and, uh, versus like playing random heroes and putting random characters together. Here we continue on from here. We get more technic parts. As you can see, we can't access that zone until we get uh, uh, these on. So here we continue through here. Now there will be some secret doors, which I will not miss. First, we'll head here, use Kongu, and then we will be able to gain a gold canister and some more technic pieces of it now pretty much we get like the small pile of blue technic pieces now before we continue on head over there and as you can see right there there's a, a proc base which means we need to come back as radak so yeah so yeah so pretty much blow this over and then i mean blow this part off and then you'll be there and just start taking on these uh block much. And I intend to be able to now come over here, shoot this, there'll be a secret path as well as a silver canister. And plus, when you're there, you can also try and attempt to get hero mode quick. Now pretty much silver doesn't get you a lot, gives you some decent gold, they give you medium amount, and and pretty much blue gives you a lot. Your way. And we're in hero mode right now, which is pretty cool. Now pretty much I like hero mode, but some people prefer to, you know, use your stay you you know, stay in but some people use like to stay in hero mode and then just take down enemies for, you know, parts. But however, I know like a little technique on how to get more technic pieces. It may not be a lot, but it can. You can actually get a lot, but it will actually, you know, take some time. Here, anyway, come over here. Use Matoro. Destroy that little silver rock, please. Next after that, we just uh. Now normally I just like to do this. Yeah. So yeah. And pretty much, I also come to a part where, in every video where I don't have anything else to speak. And as you can see, we now have red bow rock. And sooner we'll get blue bow rock and green bow rock. Here we grab this um, silver canister, blow this door open, and then there it is, the Paracosphere. We're already in hero mode, so I might as well just use it already and just instant kill all of the uh, enemies. But, you know what, I think I'll swap to Jowler and start killing a bit of enemies, you know, for a bit, as Jowler. So as you can see, there's no secret door or entrance in this, this part. Okay, so yeah. So pretty much, there are lots, lots of enemies, but first, let's take down some of these parts. Now, just um, take down these last few enemies, these last Rahi. But pretty much they're called uh, the Borak are pretty much mechanical shells that hold, you know, these uh little insect thing, like those creature things called Kranas. There's the Visorak are pretty much spiders and the Baki are pretty much robots. So either way, you, with that said, let's uh, progress through. First we use hero mode, then we destroy this bridge. Now we we'll just grab now let's just grab it and it's now level complete.
Uh, I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. I accident. I forgot to turn on my commentary for a bit. Anyway, we got three silver casters and three gold casters, and we even got the mask of life, which is not like the one in the comics. The way, 89 technic pieces, bleak refinery completed. Mid 100 enemies defeated as Jala, and now continue. So pretty much. That wraps up part 14 of my let's play of Bionicle Heroes. So anyway, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Also share this video with your friends. It'll help support my channel in many ways. So either way with that, that's, that's, thanks for watching. Stay tuned because in part 15, we will be taking on the Titan boss on, on Radax Desert. Who you probably are, who it is you're probably wondering? Well, tune in next, tune in tomorrow to find out. So either way guys, thanks for watching, my name is Wingablade and I will see you guys in, in, and I will see you guys in part 14, bye!